<clears throat> what's up what's up you guys just keep going you guys just keep going things are not always going to go the way you want them to go or not going to be as easy as you think they are i mean seriously today for me it was like <clears throat> all kinds of problems like there were good things but then there were bad things you ever had a day like that probably um for instance for me um, I, you know, I, I have some sites that, you know, sell stuff online and, uh, today I, I, I paid a Instagram fan page to, uh, do a post for me. And, uh, what was really good about it is, <clears throat> um, a lot of people went to my website and the more people that go to my website, the more people that buy stuff, and that's great. Now, so I, thought I learned a lot there, and I, and I know why, I think I know why his page sent so many people, more than other people with pages of the same size. <clears throat> but guess what? My page wouldn't capture any payments, so no one could buy anything. And still, right now, I don't know what's going on. Like I've been all over with support and stuff like that, trying to figure out, and we're trying to remember the positive side. Like it, you know, oh, it's frustrating, seriously. <clears throat> but on the other side, I'm like, well, you know, I figured out something that to really look for to identify that could be much more successful for me in terms of getting people to the website. It's not just that this person has a has an Instagram fan page. It's it's what type. And, and all these different things to look at in terms of choosing, because there's a, literally like a billion pages on Instagram, right? You gotta figure out which ones work, which ones don't. I don't know what's going on with my page. It was taking payments and letting people buy stuff just fine last week. I don't know what's going on this week. I, I don't know how many days it's been going on. I think it's been going on for days. And I just kind of found out about it today. Thank goodness I found out about it. Funny way I found out about it, like, I was getting my oil changed and I was um, checking out after getting my oil changed. <clears throat> it's funny how the universe works sometimes. And he changed, you know, my oil got changed and then uh, the guy hands me the, the receipt to sign and it's like, you know, my oil change is like 50 bucks, but he hands me this thing, it's $328. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? No, this isn't it, refund my money. And so he goes through sitting there forever trying to figure out how to refund my money and I'm like nothing I'm gonna do is gonna help him so after like 20 minutes of sitting there waiting for him to try to figure it out I hopped on my phone and said hey I'm gonna check on my website's doing today and I look and I'm like whoa that's a whole bunch of like 400 and some people had went to my website I'm like whoa in like six hours I was like wow that's great but I'm like but there's no sales on there what that doesn't make any sense and then I went closer, so I ended up going on my own site and trying to buy something. Guess what? I couldn't buy anything. And funny, so he's having problems. The, the Meineke, the oil change guy's having problems with my credit card to refund the money. And there I am having problems because of that. Having problem not because of that, but <clears throat> made me think of it. So I went and tried to use my, and then I, there I am having problems with my own <laughs> card on my own site. And so this whole thing's going on. And what ends up happening with him, he goes, oh, I handed you the wrong paper. I didn't charge you $328, I charged you $50. I'm like, really? It took you 30, 40 minutes for you to figure out that you just handed me the wrong piece of paper? <clears throat> I mean, whatever, I mean, it was a resolution that ended. But obviously I just wanted to get out of there and go home and try to fix whatever the hell was going on with my site. Still, that was like 4, 4.30. It's, I don't know, 12.31 in the morning now. I still haven't figured it out. I made a little progress, I think. But I really gotta wait till the the support people, all the super techie people wake up tomorrow and try to figure it out for me. Um, but that's the silver linings that happen. <clears throat> the, the, the supports and the challenges. And you know what, today? I wasn't feeling the greatest this morning. I was kind of a little discouraged. Is that the ice machine? Anyways. I feeling a little discouraged this morning. I'm like, Ugh. but I'm like, Matt, you gotta keep, you gotta keep it, man. Everything's on the way, not in the way. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And then I was like, just sitting there, I go, universe, show me progress towards my two comic club goal. 
Universe, show me progress towards my two comic club goal today. That's what I said. I said it out loud. And I just kind of let it go out there. And then a few hours later, there I am seeing, wow, I got 400 some people on my site. Now, to put that in context, 400 people going to my website will typically get about at least a 2% conversion rate. So what that means is for every 100 people that go to my site, I'll usually get at least two sales. And some of the sales may be bigger than others. But anyways, so looking at that, 400 people going to my site, like, that's probably, I don't know, it's probably like a hundred bucks. And I was just in like five, six hours, but no sales happened. So that was the other side of it. I'm like, oh shit. But anyways, so I call that progress. That's progress. So I'll advertise with that guy again, but I'm gonna make damn sure everything's working on my site every single time before I do any advertising campaigns. And that's, that's my world. You have your own things. Everyone's got their own things. Versions of this support and challenge going on every day. Got to keep, got to keep the faith. Realize things are on the way, not in the way. Because you can't just jump. You literally, you can't just, well, you can. But it's extremely unlikely. And it's just, you know, for, for all intents and purposes, just say you pretty much can't. It's very, 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 very rare to jump from where you are to way the hell over there. You know, if you're broke and you want to become a millionaire in a month, that's a big jump. I mean, is it possible? Yeah, anything's possible. But usually it's going to take a little longer than that because you've got to learn some things. You've got to do some things that move you in that direction. It's a, it's a gestation period. Like when you plant a seed in the ground to expect a tree to grow in a month, it's just not gonna happen, you know? Like when you, when you decide you want something, it's like planting a seed. And you gotta nurture it, you gotta grow it, you gotta work it. But the universe still does most of the work, everything's on the way, the seed's growing even if you can't see you know, you put the seed six inches, a foot in the ground, it's growing, it's moving, it's doing things, even though you can't see it. Because you're not going to go dig it up. What a mistake it would be to go dig the seed up, right? It'd screw everything up. So you just got to kind of have faith in that way. And just keep watering it. Keep watering it. That's it. Uh, keep the ground healthy. It's on the way. Things aren't in the way, it's on the way, okay? All right, you're awesome.